Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel today. My name is Kosi. If you start coming across my video, thank you so so much for stopping by. Don't forget to hit on the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video. So, guys, today's video is all about a circled flag top. This is an off shoulder circled flag top with a small sleeve. Um, you can just decide to wear this freely, or you can tie it with your belt to give you a shape. Uh, it's totally fine how you choose to it's fine as you can see it fits me and it's very, very beautiful on my body so guys if you want to know how this is being cut definitely worth keep on watching and let's get into today's video so guys to start all this tutorial today i have already gone ahead to fold my fabric by four as you can see i already folded it by two here and i'm just going to fold it again that is by four and um, we are cutting a 360 degree flay and to get your 360 degree flay if you already know how to cut a 360 degree flay just go ahead and follow this method you can also get your 360 degree flay by folding your fabric by four like this then firstly what i'm going to do now is i'm going to start taking my basic measurements we will be needing all the measurements you just need the length of your top only because it's just a circled flay top so it's not going to be it's totally free so right now i'm just getting my top length which is 22 and i added extra one inch, one inch to make it 23 and i'm just going to place my tape from that edge and i'll start marking it like this can you see the way i'm placing my tape you are going to be placing your tape like this i just marking two just marking 23 inches so guys after marking all of this i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out so guys after cutting this out what i'm going to do next is that i am going to start getting my neck first of all i will just place my tape from the upper parts of our flay and I'll just come down by 4.5 inches that is our neckline and after marking this I am just going to place my tape again at the other side of our middle point and I'll just mark 4 inches that's for our neck wideness then after that I am going to again place my tape at the same upper part and I will just come down by 8 inches that is for armhole. Remember I remove 4.5 inches from the up so when I place my tape I am just going to mark 8 like you see me doing like this I am just trying to mark the 8 and that is for arm I'm just going to make a slant here then I'm going to cut this off with my scissors you can see that after cutting this off it looks as if it's straight but it's not straight because I'm going to open it up and that is when you're going to notice that it's not that straight guys so I'll just open this side part So guys, as you can see, this is how it looks like. This is the flay, and that point I'm pointing at is our arm holders this slant, and same thing with the other side. And the other place is our neckline, which is the four inches I marked earlier. And I'm going to just take this aside. I'll just go ahead and start cutting out the 1.5 inches this is for our piping we are going to use this to pipe the neck of our circled flake top so i'm going to cut off this white edge i'm going to cut it off and uh, sorry white fabric guys so i'm just going to mark the 1.5 then after this i'm going to just come up with the length 
14 you can come up with 15 depending on what you want after piping the neck you are going to just cut off the excess this is just to be on the safe side so after doing this as you can see i cut two of it one for the back and one for the front so guys after doing this i'm just going to fold this fabric like two or i'll just leave it like this and i'll just get my 7.5 inches this is for the hand as you can see it's just a small sleeve i'm just managing the clothes guys so I'm just cutting a small sleeve like you can see I already gone ahead to cut it off and I cut like two and I have the length of it 30 inches while the wideness is 14 as you can see it's two so guys this is my belt this is I just cut a pieces too much pieces for this belt I'm just going to place the right side facing each other I'll take it to my machine I'll start sewing it I'll start joining it as you doing like this guys so it's going to give us a very straight and long belt so this is it guys so i'm just going to go ahead and sew it yes guys this is my machine and i'm just going ahead to start piping this neck like this as you can see i'm just piping it with my machine After sewing the first front, I'm just going to repeat the same thing on the other back. That is the back pattern. Then, after I'm doing making this, I'm just going to go ahead and cut off any excess I have here. So guys this is the back pattern and just going ahead to repeat the same thing I just did at the front. So guys after doing this guys I'm just going to place the fabric right side facing each other and I'm just going to fold it with my pin and um, as for the side I'm just as of, as for the side of my armhole I'm just going to just use half an inch to start sewing from the armhole then when coming down I will use one inches as you can see I'm just going to place my tape. I'll mark half inch first. Then on this other side, I'll just mark one inch with my tape. As you can see, I'm marking one inch, and here it's half inch. I'll just use this one inch and just sew it straight to the down. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So guys after doing this the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to turn this top the right side and I'm just going to go ahead to start folding the down part of this circled flake top. I'll just go ahead and start folding it like this as you can see. I'll start sewing it. Then after this guys I'm just going to so this is the hand the hand we cut earlier this is it I'll just 
going to fold the up and the down part of it then we are going to use the upper part for our elastic and leave the down part like that just go ahead and fold it the way that your elastic and your safety pin can go inside for me i'm using a small safety pin because i just sewed a small stitches just made a small stitches here so i'm going to use a small safety pin like this so it will relax so guys this is the belt i'm just going ahead to join this belt like this so it's going to give me a very long belt for this clothes so guys after joining this I'm going to fold my belt by two and I'm going to make a stitch but before that just go ahead and get your middle part of the belt i mean the pieces then just make a stick like this when you get to the middle part just leave a space like one inch and make a stitch so guys this space we are leaving is for our turn up so we can see where we are going to turn this up so guys after sewing this we are going to turn it up for me i'm using my long screwdriver to turn this fabric up i was now just turn it to the right side then i am going to just make a stitch like this at the middle part so guys this is it i already gonna head to pipe this neck and as well as the down part of this sleigh so guys after doing this i already also gone ahead to insert the elastic on the upper part of my fabric this is the belt and um, the hand already gone ahead to fix my elastic as you can see the two hands already fixed with my elastic guys this is it and it's very beautiful just a small hand just for management because i want mine to have sleep that's why it's like that so guys what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to just take this to my sewing machine to fix my hand but before that i'm placing my tape on my arm what this is for i have four there and i also have four at the other side then what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to just Put my hand by two and I'll measure that for I'll just place my tape here and get this for then I'll just sew from there as you can see I'll just go straight and make this so guys I already done I'm um, sewing this as you can see it's very fine so I'm going to just fix this on the dress I'll fix this on the armhole of my dress I'm going to just make use of my safety pin and I'll take it to my sewing machine and sew this and so guys this is it I already gonna head to sew this hand even the belt I already gonna head also to make an iron I have ironed everything both the top and the belt as you can see it's looking so fine and beautiful this is it guys so if you find this video helpful kindly subscribe and thanks for watching see you on my next video guys